What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here jumping in real quick. Uh, it is August, well, September 3rd, 2020, about 9, 10 a.m. And it uh, looks like the live stream here successfully made it overnight, which is good. Uh, kind of a little strange earthquake, right? Out here in this part of the world. You just don't see it too often out here. Looks like uh, along the Gulf Coast region, the state of Florida, to be exact, uh, not a whole lot of earthquake activity takes place out here but they did have one this morning a very rare 4.0 earthquake striking uh, the Florida area specifics of this earthquake out here magnitude 4.0 the depth of this earthquake about 10 kilometers or so within the vicinity of the Alabama Florida border right there uh, north of Pensacola Got Mobile, Alabama, over here to the uh, southwest. A few folks reported feeling that, no doubt. Uh, just kind of strange activity once again, uh, globally. But then again, earthquakes can take place pretty much uh, anywhere in the world. Anywhere. Not even joking. Small ones. Uh, the larger ones, of course, are along the plate boundaries, subduction zones, um, around volcanoes, etc. But, you know, Florida... New York, Texas, Oklahoma, they're not out of the um, earthquake area. If you live on this globe, earthquakes can take place anywhere. Uh, did you fill out responses over here? We can take a look at the reports being generated by the folks here. Looks like J Florida, quite a few folks reported filling that. Um, you know, 4.0, it's kind of a, I, I could definitely probably fill a 4.0. I'm not for sure exact type of uh, uh, topography and stuff like, well, I guess out there in that region of the world, uh, you're probably looking at uh, jungle, right? I'm pretty sure. I've never actually been that far east and south, but uh, definitely, I'm sure there's quite a few trees and whatnot out there. And uh, did you feel the, let's see here, let's look at this real quick. I'm going to look at a little map here and show you guys the earthquake history of that region here in just a second. If I can get rid of these, uh, uh, um, never mind, we'll just go ahead and go over here right now and take a look at this. This here is a map from the USGS uh, since 1990 of historic earthquake activity in this region. You can see the orange circle there indicating the most recent 4.0 that struck here oh a short time ago coming up within just about an hour or so ago less than that actually but it's still within this vicinity of where we've seen kind of a cluster of quakes over the years um, on that Alabama Florida border there that line you can see the lasters earthquake prior to the 4.0 was back last year a little 1.9 uh, it looks like they had a 2.6 3.1 a couple earthquakes there look like they struck last year early last year and then uh, before that of course that 4. Point, or the 5.9 way down in the uh, Gulf region way out here <clears throat> But specifically within this area here, very rare activity going back to 1990. Uh, looks like 1992. Of course, that's down in the Gulf. The Gulf, 1997 right there. Uh, 3.1 there in Alabama, but within this vicinity. So not a whole lot of earthquakes take place here in this region of the world, folks, when it comes to uh, even, even looking back historically on the earthquake scale but then again like I said the earth is one giant jigsaw puzzle all these you know plateaus and mountains up here in North Carolina and Memphis around Memphis and areas up here all over the place is just uh, you know it was, it was born somehow historical let's see here hold on a second here let me go back to the normal map here. 
Now, if you look at the hazard zone, these guys are definitely not in it, but. See where the U.S. hazard. Yeah, they're definitely definitely not in the extreme hazard, but anywhere. Like I said, pretty much anywhere in the United States here, uh, you can see an earthquake. So don't be surprised if you see an earthquake in who knows where. It could be anywhere. <laughs> Florida. Florida just made the list today. Could be absolutely anywhere, folks. little article about it actually if you do a little search on uh, Google about the um, earthquake that took place there today in Florida there's some interesting articles on it just not uh, not a whole lot of uh, activity like I said over the years I'm still trying to wake up a little bit slept in a little bit here it wasn't feeling too good last night uh, so I need my caffeine and whatnot. But uh, taking a look at the earthquake activity globally here. Aside from Florida, a little bit of activity in Texas there yesterday. Appears to be quieting down a little bit. I mean, we're still seeing the average activity out here in Indonesia area. Looks as though that... Um, area is back to normal when it comes to uh, its daily earthquakes so just kind of watching it continuing to watch this activity I mean Florida <laughs> oh, crazy anyway folks we're gonna jump off here live stream is up and running it looks like so it's a good thing I removed the weather app which I think is the culprit in uh, the stream suddenly going down. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I feel like I got to sneeze. <laughs> so I will chat at you guys a little bit later. And um, stay safe out there, even in Florida. We'll catch you guys a little bit later.